The 2018 Graduate Skills Ranking by the World Economic Forum placed Nigeria 135th out of 140 countries. This reveals that a great number of Nigerian graduates don't have the requisite skills, experience, and knowledge for the dream job that they crave. Even worse is the fact that most of them are not professionally aware of the sector they seek to work in. In Nigeria, as of 2019, there are 134 recognized polytechnics and 174 universities, including federal, state, and privately owned. They all admit about 2 million and release roughly 600,000 graduates each year. In 2014, it was recorded that about 520,000 unemployed Nigerian graduates stormed different recruitment centers to apply for 4,000 advertised vacant positions in the Nigerian Immigration Service. By implication, it was about 130 unemployed graduates against each of the 4,000 vacant positions. On the day of the aptitude tests, about 16 graduates died from a stampede as a result of the crowd at the venues. Why are Nigerian graduates unemployable? Let's look at a few reasons. In Nigeria, studies show that the high rate of unemployment experienced by university graduates is not only as a result of unavailability of jobs, but also because of a dearth of candidates with employable skills that employers are looking for. It is argued that employability is much more than the acquisition of skills or getting a job. It is about developing graduates as critical, empowered learners. According to Schroeder and Kotze, Employability refers to an individual's capacity and willingness to become and remain attractive in the labor market. Also, the individual's capacity to be successful in a wide range of jobs. The Nigerian educational system is not organized to fully accommodate entrepreneurship in its curriculum. Sadly, a lot of students read just to pass their examinations and come out with a high CGPA. They are not equipped practically or exposed to real life situations. Therefore, upon graduation, they become confused as to how to handle life and make the most of it, even with the good results that they may have worked so hard for. The quality of education offered to students is not tailored to tackle the current need of society. We are in an innovative era where people use their brains more than their hands. But the training in our classrooms still focuses on the theoretical. It is time to ensure that what is taught in schools are always relevant to the current world situation. The lecturers in the Nigerian tertiary institutions need to undergo periodical training to refresh knowledge in their areas of expertise. If knowledge is allowed to become obsolete, lecturers will only impact the students based on what they know. This knowledge may not be marketable enough to adequately equip students after graduation. Skills, curriculum, and academic staff training are all areas that are within the purview of TED Fund, according to its enabling law. Architect Echono is braced to energetically delve into tackling these challenges with a unique blend of established and fresh initiatives. And Nigeria actually is in a position to play a key role in the knowledge economy by even exporting because that is what we have comparative advantage sure, for. Sure. As long as we meet our national demands, hmm. we can also produce Great. excess yes, yes. for our sub-region yeah. and indeed compete on the global stage. <laughs> so the focus on ICT, 
and all the transformative technologies that we require mm. to improve curriculum delivery in our systems, in our schools, with a renewed focus on the human component of our infrastructure. As we said, and again I play in that field, we've done so well in physical infrastructure, mm. and we'll continue to do so. But we also must focus on those who have been trusted with the preparation of our students for future challenges. Of course. Yes. We must focus on the type of curriculum mm. that is being taught and the delivery systems for it. When COVID-19 struck, it took us by surprise. Mm. But we are glad that we were able to adjust. Some of the changes that were introduced, like online teaching and learning, open learning resources, and the digital economy that lays around it, are going to be with us for the foreseeable future. And we must be ready and able to adapt in a nimble manner to ensure that we remain competitive on the global stage. Third Fund will lead that drive. That's very good. That's very good. I want to assure the members of staff that have been a member of this team for the past four years. Mm. We have a lot of work to do. Mm. Only recently, I was privileged again to be part of the 10th year anniversary celebrations sure. where we took stock of what has been accomplished so far. Mm. We shall take it a notch higher mm. by initiating some consultations with our critical stakeholders vice chancellors of universities, rectors of our polytechnic, provosts of our colleges of education, as well as the staff unions, ASU, ASU, COESU, NASU, NAT, and SANU, that operate in our social institutions. 